So, you join me again, ADG123. Uh, anyone that watched my first race, it was only about five minutes ago, so I'm back for my second race. This is just a little uh, break session where everyone uh, has a chance to just drive around and chill out in between. I'm just going to put another lap in. Why not? Keep fresh. Keep it in my mind where to break and uh, what it feels like and everything. So yeah, second race of the uh, Sunday Night Racing League Clio Cup here at uh, Red Bull Ring, uh, the short track of it, which uh, is about a, well one minute. Um, I have a lot of times I haven't really paid much attention if I'm honest, but uh, looking at that red time on the right, my. Uh, Penalty time about 111, 112. Can't actually remember that's really bad since I've just done a full race for 20 minutes. But here, here, anyway, don't need to worry about stuff like that. It's not going to help my racing. And that's what I'm here to do at the end of the day. Want to do well. Uh, I've already beaten my best position in this um, championship so far by getting a third in the last race which was quite good the guy in front of me uh, I like to think I put him under a bit of pressure and uh, he folded on the last corner went wide a little bit I didn't actually look like he went wide to me really and certainly I wouldn't have given him a penalty if it was a natural decision someone were going to make but uh, it worked in my favour because Gran Turismo was a bit weird like that and uh, gave him a penalty they are tight around there to be fair, you've got, you've got to be neat and tidy on these curves otherwise you will get them. But uh, yeah, so he got a two second penalty on the last corner which obviously gave me third place. I was chasing him down but I don't think, uh, I certainly wouldn't have got him up. That cone put me off completely there. Um, I certainly wouldn't have got him uh, if he hadn't got the penalty so I don't think I had the run on him uh, enough to get him at out of the last corner. So that was handy. Right, looks like we're about to start in five seconds. So that's good. Means I don't have to waffle on too much. Hopefully if you did watch the first one you enjoyed it. It was quite a good race. A bit boring in the middle but uh, I was pretty consistent and uh, I didn't get any penalties. So I did better than a few people that I'm surrounded by, which always helps. Penalty free race. So I'm starting right at the back for some reason. I'm sure they did a reverse grid and I certainly didn't win the race, so I don't know why I'm in uh, last place, but again, don't, have, don't worry about these things. Too late for that. The traction control on this time for the launch. Last time, uh, turn it off now. Last time I didn't have it on, got a little bit of wheel spin. Front wheel drive, not the best uh, at launching off the line, but once they get the going, they're uh, pretty fun. 200 uh, or thereabouts per course in these. Pretty close racing, need to be careful down here. I need to keep an eye on my radar if I can dare peek at it. So no one around me outside, I know I can go wide. But can I hold the inside without hitting anyone? Yeah, it looks like we can. So try and get the run on this guy, if not the slipstream, as we come out of there. Got the slipstream, do I go? Decisions we've got to make in a split second. I've committed to the inside of him, so my choice is either go for it or back out, as I've got nowhere near being halfway along him I chose to back out anyone watched the first race uh, will realise that it worked out for me a few times and hopefully if you are more of an aggressive racer I'm not saying you're doing anything wrong you're probably winning races but you're probably having big moments but you could have avoided as well if uh, you've been too aggressive so I'm not here to give people advice like but just something to consider if you do find yourself having a lot of contact in races. It's 
especially if you're uh, new to a league or something, you've got to assume, again, not far enough down his inside, so I'm just compromising my line by being on his inside, really, but I've got nowhere to go at the same time, so I've got to just follow it up. If I've slowed down to get back to the other side, then I'd lose too much time, and the guys behind the uh, gain on it, but got a good run out of there, so it's worked out for me uh, in the long run, I suppose. Here we go, I've got to nail this break in now, make sure he's going to a chance of coming back at me. And if he has, he's got to do it around the outside and risk a penalty, which it looks like he's just done. Picked up a 0.9 second penalty, which is now getting rid of around this corner rather wisely. He's, uh, he's no noobie. Rolling it around sometimes, just not being on the throttle and on the corner where you could be, but uh, it's a good way to lose a penalty, if uh, you never tried it, try it. You can just roll rounds, go in with that little bit more speed, carry it, and you still, you don't really lose any time, but you get rid of your penalty. And it's a very wise way of doing it. You can also do it, which is more my preferred method, if I'm going to uh, unleash little strategy things like this. Not that it really matters, it's all a game at the end of the day, so I mean, everyone's here to have fun, that's what I always think. Well, that's my intention anyway, so... But yeah, I, uh... Oh, can't turn in on him. I would have hit him if I did, so I had to give him a bit of room and respect, but try to get back down his inside, which I manage. I've already got it done before uh, I forget to head into the braking zone, and because of all that action, I've completely forgot what I was uh, talking about before, so forgive me. Looks like we're all closing up on uh, someone here, as I've had a mistake or holding us up. I do struggle, uh, again, being quite new to this commentary malarkey of the videos, well, live racing in this case, but videos and everything, I'm, I'm not perfect, I don't get everything right, I certainly don't have a, a very huge depth of knowledge when it comes to uh, the actual cars or anything, but I don't confess to be, uh, yeah, I don't confess to be, uh, you know, I know it all about cars, I just love the actual driving put me in any car and I'll enjoy it pretty much on any track so it's kind of my ethos really towards racing but anyway, stop talking about me, I keep doing this in my videos so far I've noticed I have to watch them back, cringeworthy as it is so at times anyway um, I have to watch them back really before I want to put them online because end of the day I don't want to make myself look an absolute idiot, which I've probably already achieved, but hopefully I've done it in a good way rather than a, a really bad way that's annoyed people or anything. Certainly not my intention if I have. Look at that ghost that just disappeared on me then, so it became solid. So I had to swerve last second, literally last second, and avoid him. Managed to avoid contact, so. I've lost the place, but I'm actually quite happy with that manoeuvre because uh, it's kept me in the race. That could have been a bad one. Someone down the inside got to leave the throttle till. Oh, I left it late there and I left it too late. So I'm getting swamped now from the guys behind me. I'm back down into a. Uh, let's see, actually. Let's see what I can do through this corner. Guy down on my inside nearly, so let's cut him off in the nicest possible way without touching him which I managed to do again just concentrating on getting a run now important if you don't if you're one of these people who gets wound up or you, you play on the path and you're chucking your path and races after halfway through or anything like that it's not what racing's about you've got to take a first move I'm back into 8th place and behind where I actually started uh, no I wasn't, no I started pretty much at the back sorry but I uh, felt like I've made good progress and I've certainly grown to a long way back from where I was. They're all so close and still uh, nine minutes left there, so all is not lost. And basically what I was trying to get out there before I lost my thread was, uh, yeah, you've got to have the attitude that you've, the race is always there to gain places. As you saw in the last one, guy in front of me got a penalty on the very last corner which gave me third place which was nice so you never know when it's over and you've got to keep pushing all the way and if you watch any kind of uh, professional racing on tv or anything and 
it's all the drivers bang on about, it's commitment, it's uh, it's pure dedication to it. Oh, don't know what I'm on about, and he's pushed me wide, I hope I don't get a penalty for that. It was only a little tap, but it was enough to unsettle me and push me uh, a lot wider than I should have been. Luckily I've got away with it without a penalty. And rightly so, I don't feel like I deserved one there, not really my fault. As you can see, I do try and keep out of these situations where it is risky. Oh, mid corner, I've got to avoid my line, um, change my line. The guy coming back on the track on the left to avoid. Jesus Christ. At the same time, being aware, again, it's paid off for me. I'm back in the sixth place. Them guys had a little tussle. Um, exactly what I was just saying. The race is never over. You would just keep it consistent. You concentrate on your own race. Let other things happen around you and take advantage of it and it comes back to you eventually. I'm not saying always, there is bad races where you just can't ever seem to get anything going but sometimes you just, oh, patient and it does pay off. I'm going to ease off the throttle and hopefully I don't get a penalty for that. I think I've avoided it but I've also lost the run onto the straight so I'm back into sixth. This is uh, turning out to be quite a good one. I must admit I'm enjoying this. Not the fastest of cars to play, but again, if anyone watches the first race, good for just actually uh, getting your lines and really enjoying actually driving a front wheel drive car that hasn't, you know, isn't going to kill you if you don't get on the brakes exactly the right time or anything. You can man it out with a bit of a lift off over steer, you can mess about a little bit, but certainly not the most exciting car I've ever driven, don't, don't get me wrong, but. Uh, I like it, it's good fun. Normally create some pretty good clean racing as well. Again, hopefully they'll get a penalty for that. I was a lot on the curve there, but I was trying to uh, give the guy next to me space. So, again, you never know Gran Turismo, but I feel like I was just trying to do the right thing there. Give the guy space next to me by staying right over the curb like that. So I just got hit from behind. I'm going to make sure that he doesn't make any advantage out of that, the guy that did it not fair and yeah if I can help it he's not getting past so it doesn't matter how much he hits me unless he plows me completely off the track down the inside sorry I shouldn't be uh, well don't mind saying sorry but maybe I shouldn't be chatting all the way through these overtakes but it seems like it's flowing quite well tonight good job he ghosted then that was definite carnage uh, material there Certainly a big dent in the side of my car in a way. And a, a, a good wink at the front probably from the headlights. If anyone had not written a car off, don't know why this has just popped into me. I just did it within six months of passing my test, even though I did my test pretty late in life. About 23 I think I was when I did it or something. Anyway, that's irrelevant, um, but... I, uh, yeah, wrote it off within six months. Quite good fun, I'll be honest, but... Obviously I didn't get injured, obviously a different story for a lot of people, I don't encourage anyone to go crash a car, that's not what I'm saying, but if anyone's done it, you'll kind of know what I mean, if you didn't injure yourself, quite exhilarating in a way, and then you look at your car and go, fucking hell, how do I get away with that, bloody hell, that's, uh, sorry for swearing, but that's uh, a bit more drastic than it felt, kind of thing, so, but yeah, not the proudest moment, but at the same time, one to remember. <laughs> Don't know why I've just told that little story, but there you go. Guess that's what you get. I don't plan anything, I'm just completely freestyle. Uh, not that I'm saying that it's a good thing. I should plan maybe a bit more. Well, definitely, rather than just sitting there on the sofa thinking about uh, what I should maybe talk about every now and again and then forgetting it all anyway when I actually record. I'm sure I'm not the only one with these struggles, but anyone that does this kind of stuff. Some guy messaged me, well, didn't message me, but I ended up commenting in you know, um, on one of his posts because they were on about um, uh, commentary and he uh, said that something about, you know, wanting to do it, but uh, he didn't have the right voice for it or something. Well, I, I certainly don't think I have either listening to myself back. I feel like I've got a bloody lisp now. It's given me a complex, but that's another thing for me to worry about, not you. Um, but, <laughs> uh, yeah, so 
I enjoyed, not that I'm any expert in any way, but I like to see people almost come along the journey if, uh, if I'm learning and brand new to it, or a week into it more or less now, but uh, if I'm brand new to it, it's good to see other people like taking the same journey and, you know, actually watching their videos as well and picking up tips and hopefully they're doing similarly, you know, and all that kind of stuff. It's good, it's good for everyone. So it's a shame, it's a shame I didn't concentrate on the racing a bit more there. I could have maybe dived on the inside, but anyway, I think this is our champion leader, if I remember rightly, in front as well. So it's good to see him not right at the front in this race. But yeah, we're trying to encourage this guy and just said, uh, encouraging him in my own way. I, don't, I have no influence and I, should, I shouldn't really, but, uh, and rightly so. But uh, yeah, we're trying to encourage him just to do, just practice, just to do a recording. I, it's not, I should take my own advice and I should have done that really. I did end up doing two bad ones where the microphone wasn't loud enough, so I did kind of have two practices before I did my very first video, but uh, other than that, I haven't. Uh, but yeah, no harm, and I wish I had done it now in a way, because I could have sorted out uh, a little bit more than I have and organised myself a bit better, but... Yeah, uh, that's my... It's my style, I guess. I'm, I'm, I'm an organ disorganised and quite lazy, so what can I, what can I do? I like being like that, <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm 33. I feel like I've earned it a little bit now. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so, I don't think, I've, I still don't think I've got to the end of that little story, so I'll wrap it up, hopefully I won't get distracted and bang on about something else, but yeah, here we go. I will get to the end of it, here we go, I'm gonna say it. He, I just said, uh, yeah, just record some for yourself. You don't, you don't have to post it anywhere. You could have your own little library of 200 videos that you want to remember and, you know, show someone else, show one of your mates that appreciates racing or share it with a small group or something. You don't have to put things online. You know, everyone seems to think that if you do, want to do anything like that, that you've got to sh show it to the world but you know you can practice for 10 years before for example I've been from sim racing for years and years before I've done any league racing whatsoever and I'm starting to wonder why I haven't now but uh, sorry tap on that guy so I'm gonna ease off a little bit around there not to lose any time but I don't want to go ahead of him now because I feel uh, it, it could appeal against me a little penalty but that's given me the uh, run to the guy behind me so I need to be careful down into here not to make contact or anything he's run a little bit wide I don't think I dare dive down there it's such a closing corner where you just can simply not get two cars uh, into that apex so again backed out of it thought better of it I'm not gaining positions because of this these moves in this race but it worked out a little bit better for me in the first race but still everyone's still there it's, a minute left, the race is not over by any stretch of the imagination. We are on the last lap, but again, I'm hoping they're close enough. Everyone's seeing the last lap thing. Everyone's going to be pushing that little bit harder, maybe make a mistake, a little bit of contact, push one another wide. That's all I'm looking for now, because I can't do it on pace. This clear is just not simply not fast enough. Or I've ended up around the outside, lifting a little bit there. Given the runaway though, I felt like I could have uh, had a run on him there. Oh, he's cut across me, so I need to make sure I'm on the brakes enough, which I'd managed. Again, heading into the line for the finish. Oh, I can't do anything about it. I'm seventh place, but I'm quite happy with that. Again, I come here for fun, and that's what I race for, so uh, I had fun then. End of the day, what more, do I, what more can I ask, really? Oh, brilliant in a way not the best result I've ever had but I can live with that I'll race another day right anyway I've been ADG123 I hate saying this but if anyone has enjoyed this can you please like subscribe and everything I'm trying to get a little channel going with uh, PS4 content uh, not just Gran Turismo I've made that my focus to start off with but uh, I'm gonna branch out and not branch out I do play these games but do videos I mean on other games so uh, 
yeah, if you're interested, subscribe and all that malarkey. Just try and be myself and honest and hopefully people like it. Not trying to be anything special or big time, but yeah, anyway, that's me. I keep waffling on about myself. Cheers for watching if you have. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, take care. Good night. Have a decent racing. Au revoir.